Oh. <laughs> hey, it's so hot. Uh, oh. I have a family gripe. <laughs> um, 20 years ago, this saga started 20 years ago when my dad died. I left my kid brother every fig. Yes, every fig. And then the others, younger ones, got upset. So we had a court case. And then I was dragged into it. And uh, I was awarded nothing because I had given the family seven grandchildren and that's class as nothing and they already had had three children and that was why I never got anything but yet my sister Heather got a huge amount of money to buy a house for a deposit only not to spend any other way but she spent it other ways I had, well, I think. and and today she's living in a car I think they choose to live that style of life uh, but she never brought a house and I don't know is that right that she received a, a good sized amount of money for a deposit for a house and never brought it that was the wish of the court the high court you know where they walk around in all those black suits and the wigs yeah and my brother he received he received the house plus quite a large sum of money and he's made in 20 years on the house at least $38,000 I'm not quite sure that's right but it's close to it and my younger brother, he only got a small amount, but he got a fair amount of money. And um, he, yeah. Well, well, we thought we got to interrupt it. But out of the goodness of his heart, 20 years later, when he got his super from work, he gave our big sister a donation from um, for the the estate that she never got anything out of. He chose to donate to one sister, and we are asking, well, I'm asking, that it's now my turn to receive a little. And so with my younger brother, he's done the good deed and sorted our big sister out. I think it's time for the youngest one, who's got, he's still got the bulk of money that Dad gave him, plus the house, plus the $37,000 that he's created over 20 years. We're only, I'm only asking for a few thousand. And I don't think it's much compared to what he has received. Yeah, I think that I should be treated equally. There are five children left and in the beginning it was three out of five that got a sum of money but with my younger brother coming forward and giving our older sister a portion I think it's time for the youngest and the most the youngest brother who receives the most it has created even more with the not selling the house but renting it out over 20 years and uh, I think I should out of that 37,000 that the house has created, I think he should be able to give a little to me. Yes, little old me, the one who got nothing. <laughs> the one who got nothing because she had seven kids. Man, you get victimised if you have a big family. Uh, yeah, being victimised because I had a, I chose to have a big family. Yeah, I just feel like now that everyone else has received something, my little brother should pull his weight and do the right thing by me. Not asking much. I thought it was waiting 
20 years for just five cents off the ball. <laughs> and now here because they, you talk about it, you bring the subject up, he gets so upset. Well, he can be upset because as long as I draw breath and he has it helped out, he hasn't done the right thing, I think he should be told about it. <laughs> He's running off to solicitors now to get me to stop telling home the hard truth <laughs> that he owes me. <laughs> I think they all owe me. But in family disputes, what can you do? You know? You are as important as each other. That's my take on it. Stone over and out.